Hello, hello, happy Thursday. Hope everybody's doing incredibly well. I'm gonna give people a minute to join. Uh, welcome to the Thursday Throwdown. I do this every single Thursday on Facebook. So um, at the same time, around the same time, I'm a little early today. Um, and the Thursday Throwdown is really about going deeper into a topic, giving you a swift kick in the ass, a wake up call, a come to Jesus moment, whatever you want to call it. Um, but really giving you a moment to pause and think and giving you an invitation to shift your perception and your understanding about some things. So I'm going to a quick just go over and uh, share this out to a couple of other places so give me one second and then we're gonna dive right in hang on hang on okay awesome you're catching me right before I'm going to get my herded today anyway all right, so let's dive in about a couple of things. There are three really important things I want to share with you today. Um, and the first is this, the truth about heroes. So heroes are powerful for us. They give us inspiration. They give us motivation. They model for us what's possible and what can be done. But I think for so many women, because of how we've been taught by culture, by uh, political influences, by religious influences, just by family, um, I think we've been taught to wait for a hero to save us. Now, for a lot of women like me, like you, who are not women waiting for, you know, the prince to show up on the horse kind of thing, this whole idea of being saved by a hero shows up in a really different way. It shows up in finding a coach or a consultant or a mentor who can literally fix us, who can literally save us from ourselves, who can literally like find all the parts where there are cracks and fill them in. And so what I wanna get across to you today that is so important and thankfully, I'm watching so many female leaders across platforms, across industries, across niches start to talk about this. And I can't drive this home hard enough for you. You are the hero you've been waiting for. And your job in being that hero is literally finding the places that need more love, more compassion, and more development in terms of skills or awareness so that you can be the hero of your own story. You don't need to be fixed. You don't need to be saved. You can save yourself. Now, this sounds, you know, like a really, yes, this is awesome that I, I want to be that person. I want to be able to do that. But the truth is that everybody who I know who's successful and who has been in part their own hero has learned one skill in particular. Now, I am 24 years into this, uh, you know, being a former psychotherapist and counselor, I have been doing public speaking and training since I was 20 years old. Uh, and now I'm a coach and speaker and mentor. So I'm a long time into this and probably thousands of people into this, right? This is one skill that's non-negotiable. And it's a skill that I'm watching a lot of big brands and big names trash. And that skill is very simply building your brave. It is not about learning how to be fearless. That's like bro tactic marketing. It's patriarchal. It's toxic masculinity at its finest. And it doesn't work for women. Now, that doesn't mean you're not going to have moments in life where you feel absolutely fearless. And those moments are so juicy and they're so precious. And I want you to have them. But what it does mean is that if you're waiting around to feel more confident, to be fearless, before you share your greatness with the world, then you really have a, there's a big threat looming for you. 
And that threat, and I don't know who, I tried to look it up. I could not find it. Sorry, I got to tuck my hair. I'm on my way to a haircut. Um, I could not find who's, who this quote is attributed to, but really the greatest tragedy, I think, for women is to die with your song still inside of you. And that is why I am so passionate about teaching women how to master themselves from the inside out so they can show up. Now, maybe it means showing up in your family or showing up in your community or showing up at your house of faith, or maybe it means showing up in a much bigger way on a bigger stage with a bigger platform with a bigger message. Regardless of what it is, you have a song inside of you that is the only purpose is for it to be shared, that you don't keep it in. And the thing that holds so many women back are all the faces of fear, perfectionism and self-doubt and criticism and imposter syndrome and, you know, death by comparison. And that leads to two things. Either you get totally overwhelmed and you shut down and you give in to all those voices and faces of the fears, or you go into sort of energizer bunny mode and you work your ass off to the point of being completely burned out and that doesn't serve anybody either so we've got to find a new way and one of the things that i've taught people over the years and i'm going to be teaching more formally in the book i'm writing which is called build your brave and in the community i'm building which is called build your brave is the journey the path and the skill set uh, to become Somebody who not just feels brave sometimes, but somebody who acts bravely all the time. And to do that, you don't have to get rid of your fears. You may naturally outgrow some of them. You may naturally overcome some of them. You may naturally just expand and evolve and grow and say like, I used to be afraid of that. I often think of how I felt in high school about public speaking and I would get up in, in front of the class and the sweat would be, it was so gross, the sweat would be dripping down the sides of, of you know my arms and I would shake and I was petrified. And now it's literally my favorite thing to do, whether it's in a, you know, on a platform like this, or it's on a stage in front of, you know, hundreds of people, or it's on a podcast, it doesn't matter. It's like literally my favorite thing. So you do outgrow some of those fears. But the biggest tragedy for women is for us to die with the gifts we've been given, with the messages we have, with our ability to inspire, to motivate, to compel people. And that's what the world needs right now. The world needs us to bring that song, that message, that gift, that skill, whatever is uniquely yours forward and shared. And the thing that is shutting so many women down is their fear. And don't be fooled. Fear doesn't necessarily mean that you're in panic mode all the time. For some people it is. For some people you're having panic attacks and anxiety attacks and insomnia and you're having all kinds of stuff. But for other people, it shows up as perfectionism and procrastination and hiding from being visible and not living in and speaking and sharing your truth. So it shows up a million different ways. But that's your number one direct threat. Fear is not your threat. Not building the skill of bravery is what's going to keep your song inside of you. That is the direct threat. And I realize that a lot of you of late are new to me and I haven't shared my story in a really long time. And on another live, I'll probably tell you the whole kit and caboodle. But what I want you to understand today is that the person you see here, the person you see on live streams or hear on podcasts or see on stages or whatever, is not the person I always was. As a matter of fact, in my teens and my early 20s, I struggled with everything. So 
my background includes things like sexual abuse at a very young age, think toddler. It includes an active eating disorder for seven years. It includes major depression and being suicidal twice. It includes anger management problems. It includes immense self-doubt, self-loathing, and perfectionism. I often laugh and say I was a psychotherapist, but before I was a psychotherapist, I got diagnosed with half of the stuff in the DSM. <laughs> so I, you know, one of the funniest questions that ever, it's funny to me anyway, that ever gets asked to me is women will often approach me and say, you're so confident. You're so assertive. Have you, did you just kind of come out of the womb that way? And it makes me laugh because it's so far from the truth. The reason I am confident, the reason I assert myself, the reason I am visible, the reason I am driven and ambitious and outspoken and why I stand in my power and my truth is because I've leaned into mastering myself, my mind, how I deal with my emotions and how I get into action. And a big part of that is learning how to build my brave. Because my friends, I am afraid all the time, every day. But when you learn how to tip the scales, when you really fill the bucket with all the things that build your brave, the scales tip, and yes, your fears are still there, but they no longer dictate what you do, what you say, how you show up. They, it doesn't drive the bus anymore. And if everyone would just learn how to master that one skill, then being alive now at a time when things seem so threatening and scary for people in general, but for women specifically, that one skill is going to help us not just survive, but thrive and lead. So there's going to be a lot more coming from me uh, in the coming weeks about exactly what you do to build your brave, to master this skill. Because people think bravery is just a feeling. Mm -mm -mm. It's a skill. And I'm going to be mapping out an entire path to successfully build that skill where the icing on top of the cake is confidence. And the icing on top of the cake is, you know, choosing every day to do the things that will consistently allow you to stand in your truth and let your song out and not hiding anymore and not playing small anymore and not putting up with bullshit anymore and not having poor boundaries and being a people pleaser anymore and not being afraid of what people think of you anymore and not holding back anymore and not constantly questioning, do I have what it takes? Can I actually do this? Am I good enough? When we put all of that to rest, or we at least quiet it enough so we can step forward, then we are the heroes we've been waiting for. And believe me, the world is waiting for you to show up. So there's gonna be a lot more of that coming in the weeks to come, in the book, in the membership site, the community that I'm building. And I'm going to invite you to go on that journey with me. All right, my loves, I'm sending you off into the rest of your day as I go get this taken care of. <laughs> I hope you have an incredible uh, finish to your week. And the thing I want you to do right now in the comments, wherever this is showing up, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, my website, wherever this is showing up for you, wherever you're watching this, I want you to write in the comments, tell me what is that song in you that's waiting to come out? Is it a message? Is it a skill? Is it a value that you want to share? Is it about being inspiring? Is it about being innovative? Is it about creating massive change or micro change? What is that song in that's in you that has to come out. So drop it wherever you can make a comment 
and let me and let everybody know what that song is. So we can hold space for you to show up and share it. And so that you have officially made it public that that is your song and you are committing to sharing it with the world. All right, all. Talk soon.